If you're still using Windows 10, you're in danger. But here's what to do. Microsoft Windows 10 is end of life. That's it. No more security updates, no more patches, no more fixes, no more feature advancements. Now we understand that a lot of people may still need to use Windows 10 and you can look at ring fencing machines and things like that. But if you are on Windows 10 and you weren't aware that it was end of life, then we've got four things that you can do. That's it. Number one, upgrade to Windows 11. Your machine might take it or you may need to replace the machine, but that's the most normal route to take. Number two, maybe you want to keep using the machine for whatever reason. It might be connected to certain software that only works on Windows 10. Now, Microsoft have released an annual security update scheme. So the way it works is it will only push out major security updates. It doesn't do any fixes. So any bugs that it's got, it will not fix those. It doesn't do any normal patching. It literally will just do some of the bigger security updates. And the thing is, Microsoft really don't want to do this. So what they've done is they've said it's a maximum of three years and the cost doubles every year. So here in the UK, it's 58 pounds for the first one year of just the basic security updates. And then it doubles year two and doubles year three. But this is something that you can get and obviously we'd recommend it if you are going to continue using a Windows 10 machine. Third is to switch to a different operating system. Maybe you can use Linux or Ubuntu. There's a few different ones available and obviously you probably need to understand what you're doing and also making sure the hardware is compatible and the software that you also connect with it needs to be compatible. And number four is continue using Windows 10, completely oblivious to all the risks that you will have. And remember, the last time operating systems went end of life, there weren't all the AI tools that are available now. Essentially, what will happen is, is because Windows 10 is gonna stand still from the 14th of October, as soon as any of the hackers find the holes in the operating system, now with the power of AI, that will accelerate the number of machines that they're able to hack into. And remember, if you're a business using some Windows 11 machines and some 10, you're gonna have the vulnerability on your network because all the machines are interconnected. If you're using a server, if you're using SharePoint, Azure, any domains. So if anything's interconnected, so essentially, it's just a really, really bad idea to use an operating system that's end of life. But if you think it won't happen to you, please make sure that you've got a decent standalone backup. When we say standalone, it means it's away from the network. So it's backed up all of your data and then it's separate because if your Windows 10 machine gets an encryption virus and it's not disconnected, it will encrypt the backup as well. So you really don't want to lose all your data and have all the destruction. So our recommendation, upgrade to Windows 11, but if not, try two, three or four. Anyway, we hope you found this of interest. If you've got Windows 10 machines, you're not sure how to upgrade to Windows 11, or you just need any kind of business IT support help, then we are here. So please click on the link and we'd love to discuss how SINSTAR can start helping your business.